The new season is here, finally. Operation Deep Freeze comes out today, and I've got a brand new video for you. We're gonna be taking a look at some tips and tricks for the new map layer. Now, what I want you to do is go down into the comment section and let me know anything specific tips and tricks wise you'd like to see during the season, and I will do my best to get it to you. I will have another video out tomorrow, so make sure to keep an eye out for that as well. So let's dive in and check out the first trick. So for this first trick guys, this one takes us down into the basement level inside the warehouse. Now all that you need to do here is lay prone, making sure that you keep proning until you get onto that little ledge that comes out from underneath those crates. And then you crawl along and shoot two pieces off of the mop and bucket and make sure you get that little metal frame as well that's going around it and then you can push up onto it and stand up on top of the bucket now you turn around and move a small bit to the left and you get a vault prompt up on top of those crates and then once you're up here you can use it for elevated angles all the way across warehouse to the door coming in from outside the yellow stairs coming down towards warehouse and if you walk across the canisters to the right you'll be able to look over the top of the little half wall on Onto the door into missile now you have a lot of opportunities to get some picks from up here especially if you use azami to put some kiba barriers up there to protect yourself and you can get some easy picks moving on to the next trick guys and i have an angle here for you on the main entrance side of the building now you just need to repel up the wall in front of the window and once you've broken up the window you can use buck or a ram device to open up the floor right next to the little counter and you'll be able to see down into the weapons maintenance site and you can watch that door in between the two bomb sites so it's a really strong angle to watch for any defenders rotating between bomb sites and you can hold that angle and get some some easy picks. Moving on to the next trick guys, and this one is a double trick inside the maintenance bomb site. Now this is great with Maestro especially, because you can use this as an evil eye spot as well. So what you can do here is by vaulting up on top of the weapons case and running across the weapons table, and then vaulting over the second weapons case in front of the bomb chassis, you can get in behind the bomb, and you can first of all lay prone behind the bomb for anyone pushing that door, they'll barely see you behind this bomb chassis, and you can get some easy picks. But if you turn around and walk up on top of the lid of the weapons case and stand on the top of it, you can place an evil eye all the way up, almost touching the ceiling. And it's very difficult for attackers to see the evil eye when they're pushing the door. You can use this for intel and to get some shots off with the laser on the attackers and help you secure and anchor the bomb site. Moving on to the next one guys, and I have an Azami setup that you are going to want to use on or 6 room on the second floor. This is a great way to counter that back door coming in towards the B bomb site. If you place two Kiba barriers right where I've pinpointed on the ceiling, you can actually watch for anyone coming in through that door. They will not be able to see you up there. It's a one way angle onto their legs and waist, and you can get some really good picks here and be able to hold down the bomb site. Now onto the next one here, I have another Azami setup that you can use on the weapons maintenance site. This one is pretty straightforward. What you can do here is by placing one on the top of the door into the range exit room and then jumping up on top of the weapons crates, you can place one on the corner of the crate behind you right next to the bomb chassis. And then you can actually place another one up on top of the turret on the ceiling and you will have complete protection from any attackers pushing in any of those doorways.
Moving on to the next trick, guys, and I have an amazing Azami setup that you can use here on the, the briefing room. Now, again, a big shout to Royal for spotting this one. Now, this one is very simple. You just place a Kiba barrier on the pillar on the right-hand side, as you can see on screen, and then on the vent above the door, you need to place two Kiba barriers, one on the top, and then another to bring it right down towards the bottom of the door frame. And then once you're behind that Kiba barrier by the pillar, you will have a one-way angle onto that door and you can anchor down the site. Now the reason for putting it on the vent is that it's harder for them when they're pushing the door to hit the keeper barrier and they actually have to put their full body in front of the door and you'll be able to get easier picks on them when if you put it on the actual door frame they'll be able to hit it off before entering the door. Moving on over for a couple of thermite tricks for you. The first located here on the missile lobby. Now this is for the labs wall below. Now this of course is only if you cannot get the devices or utility off the wall. This is like a last resort. But if you place a thermite charge on the ground right next to this reception desk, you'll be able to open the top half of the wall into the lab site. Now you'll see here once it's opened that it opens up half the wall and you can also use it for angles down into the site as you can see on screen but you can also go down there and use it by jumping up on top of the counters and you can look over the wall and watch for anyone who's made a rotate into the other bomb site or you can use it as a good hold position for your teammates to push into the site Moving on to this next thermite trick, and a big shout out to Royal Penguin for spotting this one. Now, this is for the first floor weapons maintenance hatch. Now, this is normally catered off or reinforced, but there is a way to open it up regardless of that. And if you don't have any EMPs and you really want to get some access to the site, if you go to the second floor operational room out just outside in the hallway on mezzanine, if you place a thermite charge exactly on the corner of the wall, you will open up that hatch regardless if it's catered off or reinforced, and you will get access access down into the bomb site. Moving on to the next tricks, guys, and I have a couple of really good echo spots that you can use on this map. The first of which is outside in the missile lobby. Now, what you can do here is upstairs on the mezzanine, you can throw an echo drone in behind the missile, and it will be in the gap between the pillar, so it will be very difficult for attackers to shoot it out, and you can pop up and get a lot of intel for your teammates, and of course, use its ability to disorientate the enemy, and you can run out and get some easy picks. Now the next echo spot is located on the first floor inside the bunks. This is a really good one for this bomb site. If you place your echo drone in the top bunk, you actually can't see it as an attacker is running into the bomb site trying to get that diffuser down. You can't see it when it's laying flat. So if you're sitting in a good space with echo, you'll be able to pop up and set it up against the top of the bunk and then hit the attacker putting down the diffuser and delay the bomb going down and help your team win the round. Moving on over onto the next tricks, guys, and I have a bunch of Valcams for you to use here, the first of which is inside the lockers room inside the basement. If you place the cam right inside the drone hole, you can watch the whole of lockers and the doors coming in heading towards lab, and you can watch out towards the warehouse. Now, once you have this set up, of course, you can give so much intel to your teammates of any attackers making their way towards the bomb site. The next Valcam takes us over onto the first floor armory hallway. Now this is a really good cam because it's almost completely indestructible if you place it correctly. So just at the end of the hall, you'll see a small gap between the ventilation and the railings on the ceiling. If you throw the Valcam in between those two, you will have it up inside the fencing, which means anyone jumping into the window, coming down the stairs, will not be able to shoot this cam out. It's completely indestructible. It's only when you're coming down the armory hallway that if you do spot the cam, you could shoot it out from a distance but otherwise it has incredible intel for this whole section just outside the bomb site and you can use it to give as much intel to your teammates
Now the next one is located inside the reception again, right next to the missile. You can place it up on top on the frame that's holding up the missile and it's very difficult for attackers to see, especially if they're coming in from the outside door at the end of the stairs. Again, a lot of intel for your teammates and you can run out from the master room side onto the balcony and get some easy picks. Now you can place this a little lower, it won't show as much of the room. You could use it for, I guess, sound to give to your teammates, but it still shows some of the room but the cam is less likely to be shot out. The next Valkyrie cam spot takes us to the bottom of the yellow stairs just off the warehouse. Now what you can do here is by placing a cam in the drone hole at the very bottom of the stairs on the left, you'll be able to watch all of the warehouse, anyone pushing towards the lab bomb sites. And if you turn the camera to the left, you'll be able to see through missile all the way through toxin and into the stock room. The final Val cam I'm going to show you today, guys, is inside the stock room, not too far away from the cam I just showed you. If you lay a prone and break the cardboard boxes on the bottom of the metal shelves, you can place the Val cam into the bottom shelf of the filing cabinet. Now you'll see a straight angle all the way down through toxin, almost to the missile door, and you'll be able to see a little bit of the stock room and give audio cues to your teammates. Now you can move this camera if you'd like into the filing cabinet next to it again on the bottom shelf where you'll see more of the stock room and give all that intel to your teammates for any attackers making their way towards the lab site. Moving on to the next one guys, and I have a very simple hiding spot for you here on the first floor range exit. Now all you have to do is by vaulting up on top of the blocks in the corner and then laying prone behind the light, making sure that your legs are not visible by putting them behind you, you can be completely invisible for anyone coming in that range exit door or coming in from the range room. Now you'll see here that I'm literally invisible behind that light, pushing in, no one's gonna check that corner and you can pop up and get some easy picks. Now, like I said at the start of the video, I will have another video for you guys tomorrow. If there's any specific tricks you'd like to see on the channel, let me know down in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, make sure to join up on my Discord if you have any tricks that you'd like to see featured in a future video. I do have a section in there for you to post your tricks. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. And as always, yeah, yeah, yeah.